Will the member for Solomon. Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. Minister, it is well known that under the Rudd, Yillard, Rudd, Labor, Green government, more than 800 boats arrived, um, carrying more than 50,000 people. It's also widely known that the complete loss of control of our borders cost the Commonwealth around $12 billion. I believe it's also fairly well understood that more than 1,200 lives were lost at sea in the scramble to reach Australia, and the Labor built more immigration detention beds than they did hospital beds during their time in government. The big picture stuff, the headline numbers are known because when under the Labor government, every time you thought things couldn't get any worse, well, things did get worse and they did so very quickly. And every time things lurched from tragedy to farce, it was all over the news. What might not be as widely understood Minister, is the effect that this chaos had on various communities, including my own in Solomon. By the time the neg negligent labour days were drawing to a close, there were five immigration detention facilities and Im that immediately surrounded or that were either in Solomon or s just on the outside. Chartered jets streamed in and out of Darwin Airport on a daily basis, each flight costing the taxpayer tens of thousands of dollars each as detainees were shuffled from centre to centre in a desperate juggling act. New centres were commissioned and built in the area around Darwin. They filled up instantly and more centres were built and leased and enormous, at enormous cost to the Commonwealth. The immigration industry in Solomon was a monster which uh, crushed other businesses. The tourism sector was swept aside as government booked up all the available accommodation. An entire motel in Darwin's central business district was leased by the Department of Immigration as a place of detention. Several others were leased in whole or part to immigration contractors and to departmental staff. This drove the cost of rooms up for tourists and meant fewer people were visiting my electorate for holidays. For businesses in the restaurant industry, there were fewer diners at their tables. Two operators, two operators also found um, less people taking up their tours and, as I said, accommodation costs was a big driver away from, from people. The fishing charter operators had less people on their decks and, indeed, some long, well-established businesses went to the wall. Minister, it's not gone without notice in, that, in my electorate that the 800 boats arrived under Labor's tenure and to this day, 648 days into the coalition government, only one boat has arrived, one to 800. Things are improving in Solomon. The hotel industry is once again serving tourists. Some of the detention facilities around Darwin have been closed, and it's been reported, Minister, that $16 million in lease costs alone were saved when Bladen Point was closed. So my question to you, Minister, is, how has Operation Sovereign Borders helped the government achieve savings of $558 million in the budget through management of the Immigration Detention Network? Order. The question is the proposed expenditure be agreed to. We're on limited time now. Would you like to answer the question? Then I'll, I'll call the Minister. Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker, and I thank uh, most sincerely the member for Solomon. Uh, she comes from uh, uh, Garrison City and she knows uh, the defence personnel, uh, the Customs Border Protection staff very well. Uh, it's hard to think of a person who has been uh, more passionate uh, in this place about uh, the defence force and about uh, the way in which governments uh, provide support to uh, defence and uh, Customs and Border Protection staff than the member for Solomon. So uh, I pay tribute uh, to her and it's no surprise that she would ask this question tonight, uh, which goes to uh, this very important issue of the success around uh, the structure of this budget that we've been able to put together in relation to uh, my portfolio, the way in which we have been able to uh, return that $558 million dividend uh, to the budget, an $11 billion blowout when Labor uh, was in government uh, was completely unsustainable, uh, as the member, member for Solomon uh, points out. And this government uh, is determined to continue uh, the good work that we've started, uh, but we continue, as I say, every day to stare down this threat. And we know that the people smugglers are there. They are trying to put ventures together right now. Uh, and we've been able to turn back boats where it's been safe to do so. And that is the absolute secret to our success, which it seems the Labor Party will never be able to bring themselves to. 
People shouldn't forget that before the last election, uh, as a member for Solomon well remembers, uh, and indeed before the 2007 election, uh, Labor promised, they promised uphill and down dale that they would stop the boats, uh, that they would be a John Howard light, uh, that they would not change uh, anything in relation to border protection management. They promised that before the election. Let me make this prediction. They'll make the same promise before the upcoming election. They'll say that they've put in place uh, this new, uh, new package. Uh, uh, the member for Crow will say that he's been around the world talking to the UNHCR and uh, having cups of tea elsewhere, uh, looking at solutions, global regional solutions. There'll be some big picture uh, that he's able to paint out uh, about how the Labor Party will preside over success uh, in this area. Don't look at what Labor says. Don't look at what Labor says. Look at what Labor does. There were no children in detention when Kevin Rudd came to government in 2007. At its peak, Labor had almost 2,000 children in held detention in our country. That number today is down closer to 100, and we work each day to try and reduce it even further. That is what we do, and that is uh, what we will continue to do, and I pay tribute uh, to the member for Solomon uh, for being such an integral part uh, in the way in which we support uh, our personnel, uh, which ultimately uh, results in successes uh, under Operation Sovereign Borders and indeed the measures that uh, we put forward uh, in this budget measure. Christian is for